You know what that is? That's family, a proclamation to the world. Great document. Look into it. It's great. Read it. Brothers and sisters, um, my computer is, I'll be on hiatus for the next couple days, so keep watching Joel Skousen over and over again. Go back and watch some of my videos uh, about Maui, if you haven't. Go and watch, get caught up on the Tim Ballard stuff. Uh, I've got like almost 27 videos uh, um, uh, on Tim Ballard, uh, a playlist, and uh, we'll be discussing that more in the future. Also, uh, I just had a really good interview with Ben McClintock of uh, Tree of Liberty Society, and it's amazing. We're going to be playing that soon, but I'm going to edit that as soon as I get my computer out of the computer hospital because it has been having some problems. So I'll be resting the next couple days and designing my web. No, I can't design my website because I have no computer to do that right now. So, uh, and I'm not going to do it on my laptop, but God bless you. Read the book of Mormon. It is still relevant. I believe, let me bear my testimony. The Holy ghost is the most important part of this work. The spirit, it's the spirit, brothers and sisters. Don't forget that. It's the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Ghost. The things that don't let people fool you. The things that Ezra Tep Benson said and Spencer W. Kimball and prophets in the past are just as good and relevant as they are today. We believe in a living prophet, Russell M. Nelson, and he talked about the importance of the Book of Mormon too. Um, right before he became prophet, when he was an apostle, remember when they. There were pictures of him in his backyard reading the Book of Mormon. He was talking about his personal study with it. What was it? Ezra Tapp Benson is not a washed up person. He, the Book of Mormon is still the keystone of our religion. And we are still under condemnation. Maybe that's why we're under some a little bit of condemnation now. Because we're not reading it. And what is creeping in are different ideas of, of a solution. It's not academia is not the solution to finding out if the church is true or if Joseph, it's not, I don't care how much history you read. It could, everything could always be debunked from another side. You can't debunk the Holy ghost. If we read the book of Mormon every day, we wouldn't have problems. We would not have problems. I mean, we'd have problems, but we wouldn't have the problems that we have today. Let us stay true to our covenants. And if you don't have a testimony, speak bold. We need to speak boldly about our uh, testimonies. Be bold with your testimony. Be bold about how to find truth. How do you find truth? You seek it. You seek it through the power of the Holy Ghost. But but what if they don't feel the Spirit? That's trigger. You're triggering people that don't feel the spirit. Well, then keep searching because Heavenly Father doesn't make promises. That's why it's called Moroni's promise. Moroni chapter 10, verses 3 through 5. James chapter 1, verse 5. Read Alma chapter 32. Read Alma chapter 34. Brothers and sisters, the spirit is true that you can, the seeds get planted you might be filling the Holy Ghost. We'll recognize it. Ask Heavenly Father to help you recognize the Holy Ghost. That is the most important part of this work. Happy Halloween. God bless, and I'll see you in a couple days.